Hey, this is Matt Chambers with Concept3D. I've got a really good SketchUp 7 tip for you today. It's how you can reorganize your dynamic components in the Component Attributes browser. What I've got here is a fairly simple dynamic component. If I scale this in the blue or red direction, the cubes keep their same size and they reposition based off of that height and width. If I open up my Component Attributes browser, I can see how this is put together. There's a series of formula that determine that position for each one of these blocks. And I can change the size with this parent level attribute right here. What doesn't work so well with this is the order that these are displayed in this browser. With this particular version of SketchUp, there's no direct way to reorganize these. But watch what happens if you double click to edit that component select one of the components and I'll do a edit cut and before I do anything else I'm going to do an edit paste in place. I'll exit out of that component and look where it placed that particular child component. It's now at the bottom. Because I did that cut and paste in place in one shot it didn't lose any of these formula connections to the parent level. So now what I'll do using shortcuts is cut and paste in place each child component in the order that I want it to show up on my attribute browser list. There we go. Now they're in order. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I hope that little tip is useful to you in your dynamic component endeavors. Be sure to check out the Concept3D blog and the Concept3D YouTube channel for more SketchUp tips and tricks. Thanks for watching.